Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with a collective haul. I know I was on a no buy for a little while and then the MAC collection came out and then that's it. That's all that happened. And I was picking up items here or there that I needed and then I saw items that I wanted and then it's just this is a very loose overall collective haul if that makes sense. I don't even know what I just said but anyway I got a bag of goodies. Do you guys want to see? Okay. I'm gonna take it out of the bag before it makes too much noise, so BRB. So first things first, I went to Target and I picked up some of these note cards. This is the second set of note cards I got. I think I packed up the other set, but these are so pretty and I was gonna use these for thank you cards. It also has like a nice coral flower and a nice green teal flower. I think these are cool. I love the dollar stuff store at Target. You can't go wrong. And I know this isn't a beauty item, but I wanted to share anyway, so. <clears throat> Next thing I picked up at Target was this e.l.f. daily brush cleaner. I do have the mist and set right here, and they look very similar in packaging, but I do like that they put a brush in front of the picture now, because I think before they didn't have the picture of a brush, they just had it written out like this and people were getting confused and they were spraying it on their face so anyway this actually has a really nice scent to it and I said I would repurchase it because it smells really really good it smells familiar to me and I cannot put my finger on it but and I do not have the ingredients for it but this actually works really well I use this for a quick quick spritz god I can't talk I use this for a quick spritz to my brushes use a paper towel it works well. I've used it a few times and it hasn't even made a dent in it, so I'm okay with that. And it's $3. Can't go wrong. But I found it at Target, which is the place to be. So the next things I picked up at Target is kind of weird. It's deodorant. And I picked up two of these, uh, Secret Clear Gels. I actually figured out, because I, I know, I'm going to tell you guys a little something about me. You guys are probably going to think it's gross, but whatever. Those that you guys that know me know I don't smell. But I actually do not... Not, it's not that I do not. I rarely use deodorant. I just don't sweat there. I know that's weird, but that's not... I don't sweat there. I know that's weird. I'm fat and, you know, fat people sweat and shit like that. But I just don't sweat. But I do use it every now and again, especially when I'm working a few days in a row. I make sure I put this on because you never know what kind of day you're going to have. I picked up the Cocoa Butter Kiss and this one's actually for the kiddo. And I like the smell of it. It actually didn't smell too harsh of Cocoa Butter. Yeah, it smells really, really good and soft. And I like the clear gel, gel formula. I feel like it absorbs in the skin a little bit better. And it does not leave you smelling funny. I noticed, and maybe it's because I do not sweat there that I don't really absorb the product too much, but I noticed that with any other uh, deodorant, whether it be Dove or um, all the other brands I've used, I can smell the deodorant. Like, it, it grosses me out for some reason because I can smell it. And I'm like, oh my god, why does it smell like baby powder or lavender or whatever other scent I decided to try? It's so annoying. I, I just, I can smell that and I can't smell my perfume. I just, I don't know, conflict of interest? I don't know. Anyway, but I do have the Secret Clear Gel. I think it's just a soft scent. Love it. I don't smell it. I don't sense it. I don't sweat anyway, but I just, you know, I do it for just in case reasons. Once in a blue. Anyway, that's enough ramble about deodorant. It's gross whatever <laughs> so the last thing I picked up at Target I'm really excited about because I've been wanting it for a while and you know when you buy stuff at Target you get those five dollar gift cards well I accumulated a few so I didn't pay anything for this so I got the Sonia Kashuk number 30 brush I haven't even tried it yet because I wanted to show you guys first like this brush is just look at it Actually, let me show it to you guys with the white backdrop. It is meant for contouring. It is definitely a sculpting brush. Um, I have a bootleg Eda brush. This is fabulous. I love all the Sonia Kashuk brushes. She hasn't steered me wrong yet, and let's hope that this brush is fantastic. And I saw Cosmetic Aficionados post. If you guys do not follow her, check her out on Instagram. She has a wonderful blog post, and I absolutely love her. Her name's Leticia. Leticia. Oh my god, I butcher her name when I say it out loud. In my head, I say it right. Uh, Leticia. 
I don't know. So anyway, her blog post is Cosmetics Aficionado and I love her Instagram. I'll actually link it down below because she's fantastic. If you guys don't follow her, I think it's pretty cool. But she reviewed this one and the accent brush or like the blender, the little under eye brush. And I kind of debating on getting this one, but I got this one first. So one at a time for me. But she uh, mentioned both. I did want to get the e.l.f. one. But I don't know why I'm a little hesitant to get the e.l.f. one when I love e.l.f. brushes. But I keep checking the store to see if they just miraculously sell it in the store. I'm just playing with this. Um, yeah, so I do keep checking Target because Target has a great selection of brushes from e.l.f. They just don't have that one. So if not, I'll give in one day and do a nice e.l.f. haul for you guys. Probably later down the line or when they come out with a good sale. But anyway... I got these. It's so nice. I think it's $16 for the brush, and I think it's a good investment. Brushes are great investments. So it took me a while to get it, but then I saw that I had all these gift cards that I wasn't going to use right away. So why not? I got a brush. So the next things I picked up were from Walgreens, and it was on two different occasions. Um, actually, one was at CVS, and I didn't get any of these items on sale, but they were a necessity. So I picked up the Fit Me Concealer, and this one's in number 15 Fair. It is really, really light, but I felt like I love this concealer so much. I wanted to get the lighter version so that I can highlight and get snatched real quick. And that's that right there. It's 15. I think they have shade 10, and this one was a little bit darker, so I got that one. I usually use 20 Sans Sable on my skin. It's like a perfect match for blemishes and all that, and it goes perfect for under or over my foundations, and I love the formulation of these, so I figured this would be perfect for highlighting under the eyes and the T-zone for when I want a little bit more brighter, snatched out contour and highlight. So yes. And I also replenished on the age Re instant age rewind concealer. This is my favorite concealer. I've gone through like three or four of these. I also have the neutralizer and the brightening shade. I mix actually those two together and I make like a perfect similar shade to this. And this one's in the shade light. Love this. If you guys have not tried this yet, it is drugstore. You can get this at Target cheaper, which I should have picked it up but because you get CVS bucks with this purchase, that's why I did it. Um, but anyway, this concealer, it is light, but it gives you that coverage that you need. On some people, it creases under the eye. I find that I don't see any difference between this and any of my other high-end concealers. I love this stuff. It is so quick and easy. I go through this pretty quickly, though, because I use it all the time. Even on days where I'm not wearing makeup, but I want to kind of just not look dead. I'll put this on under my eyes, just powder real quick, and move about my day. Oh, and mascara and lip gloss, honey. You can't go nowhere without mascara or lip gloss. That's that for CVS. So I found these two lovely Wet n Wild items at Walgreens, and this was about a month ago, and I just said screw it and picked it up. I had a dollar off coupon for them, but I picked up two of the Wet n Wild Color Icon. These are, I guess they're like, they're the Blush and Glow Trios, and they had three of them. One of them looked a lot more yellow, orangey tone, so I didn't get that one. I got the one that had, like, the better, like, highlighty, bronzy colors and the better blush to me. So I picked up Sweet Junction, and I got Solar Power, and I have Sunset Junction right now on my face. I have it as a highlight. Do you guys see that glow? Look at it. Enough of that. So I actually, I gotta be very careful with these. So I actually blended all three shades together. And I got this beautiful, like, pinky glow. I, I just love, love, love it. And then I went in with this shade, and I went over top of it, and watch. Pow. Gorgeous. I went right over top of it after I blended them, and it just gave me this, like, oh, glow. Look at that. Oh, yes. I love it. Absolutely love it. These are very, very soft, finely milled. If you put a brush to it, it'll become glittery on the skin because I've been using the e.l.f. fan brush and it just leaves like the little glittery, like, I don't know. It leaves some glittery goodness on my face, which is not too bad. But then when you use it with a more denser brush, I used it with my um, Real Techniques 300 brush and it packed on some serious highlight. Let me just show you guys like that's how I did it and then I blend it it was like it's just so gorgeous 
it is beautiful I'm actually in love with this if you can get it pick it up it just gives you like this pinky beautiful glow like look at it it's on the tip of my nub on the cupid's ball I love it. I've been using this for the past week because I finally gave in and opened them and I said I need to try them out. I wanted to wait to show you guys so I can be like surprised. I couldn't. The next one I got was solar powered and this is more on the just as you can see I've mixed it in. So I will show you guys. I will mix it in together and it gives you like this brownie color and you can get a nice bronze out of it which I love. This is more of a rose gold bronze color which I can appreciate and then you can pop this on top of the cheek and it just look at that that is beautiful. This is definitely for that bronzy glow if you want that cheek color that is not orange that is not coral that is more on the bronzy pink spectrum that's kind of what you want this is the color that you would want you would get this magnificent just bronzy rose colored and I think it's wonderful I actually really really do love it the powders feel great swatch separately they're beautiful I don't know if my camera's showing it but these are the two bronze shades right here this is how they're swatched and I love them both blush shade right there isn't that pretty and mixed together you get this gorgeous 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 color so I actually love both of them but for this ethereal glow pinky glow I definitely go for the sweet junction and if you want something bronzy beautiful and like pinky coral go for the solar powered or just get both because even both of them together is less than a traditional blush at the drugstore so I think these were like $2.99 or $3.99 that's still cheaper than buying one Milani blush. Even though I love my Milani blushes, don't get me wrong, but you can get two for the price of one. And it's a good amount of package. This actually has 12 grams, 0.42 ounces. So, yep, that's that's what I got there. So the last thing I received was actually from a coworker. She's a good friend. I absolutely adore her. Thank you very much, my love. I don't know if she watches my videos, but if you do, you know who you are because I'm going to show the product now. So she gave me a brand new wrapped package of unique um, mascara. I have not tried this yet. I would love to review this for you guys or demo it, demo it and review it on my channel. And it comes with the fibers and the mascara. I did read the directions on it and interesting. The only thing I don't like about this is that you have to use your favorite mascara first, which I just find that strange, especially when you're spending $30 on a product already. Why would I wanna start off with my own mascara when I wanna try your mascara? But I will gladly review this and demo it for you guys if you want to, if you don't want to, I'm still going to do it anyway. But yeah, thumbs this up if you want to see how the unique looks on my lashes. I can't even imagine if they'll get any longer. But i love to give it a go. I have seen those horrible, and don't get me wrong, if you sell unique, that's your business. I'm all for that. Um, getting your money, boo. Do you? But I have seen some horrid pictures of this product. And it's super, super clumpy. I'm all for clumpy lashes because I do like to clump up my mascara. But that stuff's scary looking. It looks like tarantula legs. That's a little scary for, you know, for some of the pictures. Some of the girls wear it really, really well. And some girls just either they just overdo it for a reason or I don't know. And some of the salespeople are very, 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 very aggressive. I've seen them on a lot of my friends' posts and even some on mine. Um, it's not as bad because I'm not that popular, which is fine by me. Um, but I've seen some aggressors out there and there's some really, really nice salespeople. So if you sell unique and you're really sweet and nice and you're not aggressive, kudos to you, girl, and get your money, honey. And if you're a little aggressive, just tone it down a notch. It's not that serious. You just breathe and okay um, but anyway I cannot wait to demo this and try this out and I'm really really super grateful because I've always been curious so anyway loves I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always I'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye